Welcome to another episode of Follow the Brand TV. I am your host, Grant McGall, CEO of Five Star BDM, a five star personal brand and business development company. I want to take you on a journey through another deep dive into the world of personal branding and business development using compelling personal stories, business conversations, and tips to improve your brand. By listening to the Follow the Brand TV series, you will differentiate yourself from the competition and build trust with prospective clients and employers. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. Make it one that will set you apart, build confidence, and reflect who you are. Building your five-star personal brand is a great way to improve your skills and knowledge. If you have any questions for me or any of my guests, please email me at grant.mcgall at fivestarbdm.com. Now, let's begin with our next episode on the Follow the Brand TV. Five Star BDM. Brand Development Masters is a professional consulting and advisory group keenly focused on business development services for the small to mid-sized business and entrepreneurs. Although every business is unique, they often share business development challenges that can be addressed through smart branding. Services include process improvement and operations, digital strategy and transformation, business intelligence, digital marketing, and personal branding. Our business and personal branding company has helped a number of professionals and organizations to optimize and grow. This results in more business, more opportunities, better reach, positive outcomes. Visit www.5starbdm.com today to learn more. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. It depends on where you're located. Business owners, entrepreneurs, thought leaders, and corporations, welcome to the Black Business Network. My name is Grant McGall. I am the CEO of Five Star BDM, and I am your business moderator for this afternoon and this evening on the Black Business Network. The Black Business Network is a 24-hour business network showcasing black businesses, business owners, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders worldwide. We have speakers from North Carolina, London, Singapore, Africa, Japan, and cities all over the United States. The Black Business Network is a global community sharing its business knowledge to empower, inspire, and educate businesses about business. So I will talk to you this afternoon and in reference to some things that we're doing at Five Star BDM and I think will be impactful for today's entrepreneur. There's a number of different ways in which you can engage with your audience, engage with potential customers, potential clients, and people that honestly that are in your corner that are doing business with you and you want to enhance value. And I do this on a daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly and yearly basis. So I'm going to give you some tactics and some things that I'm doing I think will be beneficial for you. So I'm in a very competitive environment in information technology. It's highly competitive. There's people all over the world that are vying for the attention of a few key people and board members to advance their cause. A lot of times, these particular deals that I'm working on from a business development standpoint are five, six, seven, and even more as far as revenue on a 
a, a monthly level, also a yearly level. So the opportunity to get in front of your client, give them your story, to tell them how you're going to solve their big problem. It's very, very important when you have a very narrow window of time. So how do you do that? So what I do, what I've been doing for the last year or so is taking a page out of my book when it comes to developing a brand. And when I say not just a brand, what you normally would think, you know, with, you know, how you're perceived in the, in the mind of others. And that's what a brand really is. We're talking about a signature branded event or story, something that you're known for that you do. It's a program that you've put together that is different from your competition, right? So you, you, you do your research, look at the landscape, take a look at what your competitors are doing in the space. Now, right now, what you see a lot of, you'll see a lot of webinars, you'll see a lot of private you know, Zoom meetings, you'll see a lot of email chatter that goes out to try to get people engaged to get time with them to get FaceTime with them and I noticed this that's all right if I just jump in with the same process I'm going to get the same result I'm going to get a very small window of time even a smaller window of time because I'm just joining the fray and from the customer point of view this is just more noise why am I going to spend time doing this I, I have all these other options that are available so I need to step back and strategically think how I'm going to engage with my target client. So I sat back with my team and we thought through this. What kind of signature program can we put together that is going to involve not only ourselves, obviously our client or clients with the Nets plural, but also our partners? partners that are very well known in the space also. How can we collaborate on this and bring forth something that's going to work at a high level and be a gift that keeps on giving over time? So as I thought about it, and I thought back in my history, and I said, you know what? There were some things that we did, especially now after COVID. People are into in-person events again. They're starting to come out and they're starting to get engaged. So the webinar world is starting to step back a little bit. It's starting to become more hybrid. You know, people are starting to go to these in-person events, but then they're more networking events and they're nice panels. You know, people come out and maybe a keynote and they do a panel and everybody will sit and they'll listen. There'll be some networking time, they'll do some card swapping, and then you'll follow up with an email and that type of thing to try to get engagement. And hopefully your target clients will be there. I said, I want to be more strategic than that. I want to put together a signature branded program that's going to engage my client, and not just one, but several in a private setting with my partners, partners that collaborate with me and that we can pull together and put together a um, program, well, I would say a solution that helps the client to move forward. And everybody, you know, in the room, they went, you know what, that's that's great. What what what, what are you thinking? What's what you're thinking? I said, why don't we take them to dinner? He said, dinner. Well, everybody said, no, no, not just a dinner. We're gonna go to a high-end steakhouse, a high-end restaurant, high visibility. We're gonna have them put us in a private room, and we this will be a private affair. We're only gonna have up to 30 people in this room. This is not something that will be publicized you know, over the internet. We're not doing advertising. We're doing invitations, private invitations. They said, okay, I'm following you. Okay, okay, let's see what that looks like. Well, how much is that gonna cost? I said, well, I'll do the math on it. Let me engage with the, uh, the restaurant. I came back, I got some numbers. It's gonna cost about $5,000. I said, 5,000, that, that's a lot, Grant. I said, I know. But what if we got our partners to chip in, that they would be part of the program and they would help to offset these costs and 
they would also gain the opportunity to engage with these clients and build business pipeline. And they went, uh-huh, okay, I see where you're going. I see where you're going with this. So I also said, what are we bringing to the table? So what are we bringing to the table? I said, well, we're bringing together an incredible, robust pipeline of individuals, a network, an active network of healthcare and information technology professionals in business, entrepreneurs, career professionals, all within my database, all that I'm constantly talking to through my podcasting, through our TV shows, and through our uh, email campaigns. So they're curated. I have a curated audience. I have an in-tuned audience already. You're like, you know, all right, all right, all right. That's what we're bringing to the table. Exactly. So then when I look at my partners, my partners are Fortune 500 companies, large companies that are very, very well known in the information technology space. Very well known. They're household names. But they have their local representation right here in, in my market of South Florida. And then I would invite their reps to work with us to go ahead and put together this program, would this be beneficial? So as I pitched this idea to them, they went, that is great. And because I was able to share the cost amongst the three parties, everyone could afford to do it. And that was also great, right? So we're all in, cost is not a barrier, right? We've got great intelligence, we've got a great audience, what else do we need? So I said, when these things work well, what you need is a highlighted keynote speaker. They don't wanna sit with you and just do a sales presentation. No one wants to come, you know, it's a nice dinner and everything, that's great, but no one wants to be sold to in that manner. They want to get expert knowledge. They want to be able to talk to a leader in the field. They want to know somebody that's going to share knowledge, that has expertise in what we're all talking about. So I would make sure that the partners we had all were complimentary. And the one once we did was on cybersecurity. It's all right. We're going to do this around cybersecurity. We're going to invite cybersecurity leaders and we're going to have a keynote speaker that can speak highly of cybersecurity. Right. But that they're not that lead, that keynote speaker is not going to be directly competitive to the people that are in the audience. They went, uh huh. OK, I see where you're going. So I could bring somebody in from academia, somebody that is not directly competing with the people in the audience. So they could again can get up to date trends and knowledge of what's really going on in that cybersecurity space. When I was able to bring somebody in from the University of Miami to speak at a very, very high level on those trends. They went, wow, you could do that, Grant? Well, I have the network. These are very, very important relationships that you can utilize to bring value to everybody in the room. This is collaborative marketing, not competitive marketing. This is collaborative marketing, bringing everyone together. It's a win, win, win for everyone involved. Right. So now I've got my keynote. Right. And that is the attraction to the event, because when you are talking to C-suite executives, they don't have a lot of time, but they will make time for something that is important. And that is what we put together. So now I've got my business partners. Obviously, we've got ourselves. Right. And we've got a signature branded program to pull this together. And now we now we put together our email campaign, our target list. And this is another beautiful thing. As we start to put together our target list, the target list, again, is complimentary for all my partners. But then it's not just me promoting the event. It's my other three partners that are also promoting the event. They also have relationships. They're also bringing their people into the dinner event. Beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. I don't have relationships with everybody. I don't have the same types of relationship. We put all these target audience on a list. Everybody can see it. We're all collaborative. So when we 
engage with certain individuals, we kind of know if somebody's already reached out to them. Oh, you've reached out to so-and-so, they're coming. We reached out to someone else, oh, they can't come. That type of thing, or maybe someone else is coming. And we go through that entire list. We would always use a ratio. If you're going to have like 30 people that you want to invite, we're going to go 3x that. Some people do 4x that, right? So we at least get a nice target list of 100 people. What you're going to find is you're going to find like, wow, I didn't have relationships with some of these other accounts, these other individuals, and they're all now on this list and the contact information, all that thing, all of those things. And that goes vice versa for everybody. So now we're all sharing a pool collaborative uh, a field of information in which we all can enrich ourselves, right? Again, it's collaborative. We're not stepping on each other's toes. It's great that someone else can reach out and talk to this individual or get into a, a sales deal that's complimentary to you as well. And we all have an opportunity to enrich ourselves. And that's awesome. So now we've got this program put together and we start to run the campaign and we start, you know, our traditional email and we use LinkedIn, but LinkedIn as a private event to actually engage, to get people to sign up and get them interested in coming to the event. You have to follow up. You have to put out an RSVP, especially three or four days out to make sure if someone's coming or not coming, that now you have space available. And because it's such a, a well-branded event with star power, a lot of people you know, see that and they want to be a part of it. Another thing that we do is we start to see people that are now you know, tuning in or they're starting to RSVP and they're starting to accept the invitations. We start to let them know that, hey, so-and-so from this healthcare system is coming and this healthcare system is coming and, and these people are coming and this. And then all of a sudden, like, wow, I want to be a part of that. And if I can't come because of something, I'm going to make sure somebody on my team comes because this is great. We have the community I'm going to be in this private room talking about very important ideas. I don't want to be missed out. And as we looked across the county, we had every single system accounted for on our target list. This is fantastic. So the other thing that we do, not only had the keynote speaker, they're going to talk for like you know, 20 or 30 minutes. And then we're going to have a break. And we're going to actually engage, you know, in the mail, we're going to have a conversation, right? And then we're going to then go to a panel discussion. This is another great leveraging tool that I use. It's like, all right, from your signature organization, we want someone that can speak in a high level of subject matter expert that represents your company on the panel and so forth and so forth. Now we've got three or four people on the panel that are subject matter experts talking about giving comment about what the keynote talked about, how to apply these things into the systems that were in the room, right? And then we also had each table that was there engaged. I would give them each one uh, a series of questions that they could ask the panel. And I was moderated, of course, I'm going to moderate you know, the, the event very high level to keep everybody moving. And I would ask each table, okay, table number two, what question would you like to ask our esteemed panel? What is most important for you, for your organization? And they would ask the question, see what I'm doing? They're telling us now what's top of mind for them, right? So now you're gathering very important information, very important deeds, things you cannot discern anywhere else. You're getting good information, good knowledge, and you're applying your knowledge and wisdom on the stage and you're engaging everybody. And not only are we engaging with the panel, they're also engaging amongst themselves. A lot of times they're not talking amongst themselves, they're talking amongst themselves, they're starting to get information, questions are coming up, or how do you handle this, this, or that? And that's being vetted, right? And we're having great conversation, we have great intelligence. So this is a signature branded program. And that goes on for about you know two, three hours or so. And then we did that first one and we sat back and looked, that was pretty successful. We did that last year. Why don't we do this every quarter? Let's make this a signature branded program. We want to become known for this in the industry. 
We want to be known for this in the community. So we was like, okay, let's try it again. But we're not going to do it on the same subject. We're going to do a different subject. We're not going to use the same partners. We're going to have different partners. And we're going to talk to different individuals. So we did it again. And they came again. And it was very successful. It was sold out. We're developing relationships that we never, ever, ever had before. Not only with the client, but also with the partners. Right? Remember, these are multi-billion dollar companies that we now have developed relationships with. These are multi-billion dollar clients that we now have relationships with. And then we're starting to be known for our signature branded program that we put together. Right? So to date, we've done three of these programs. And we're about to do the fourth one in, in September. And this is going to be fantastic because now everything that we talked about is coming to nutrition. Anytime there's any new executives that now come on board or they just became you know part of a new organization, no one knows them very well, we invite them to these events and they get a chance to actually network and grow their relationships that they didn't have before. And not because they're bombarded from a sales perspective. We're not standing there giving them a bunch of flyers and a bunch of sales pitches. No, because remember, we're gathering knowledge and information about what's truly going on with them. And now we can have intelligent conversations either then or even later. And they will pick up a phone call, right? When you call or they'll answer an email. Hey, what's going on here? What's going on there? This might be important for you to know. Now you set yourself up as a knowledge expert right? That go-to person. You need to go to Grant to find out about this or that. He has the relationships with a lot of the partners that you're probably already doing business with one way or another, but he has the intimate relationship, right? And then you could take that from now that group dinner to now a private luncheon or just a standard office meeting to have more meaningful discussions as we move forward. So that's an example that you can use and think about in your own market. How can you put together a signature branded program, a program that is different from where your competition is right now? It's different from what your clients are expecting, and you're packing it with value, value on top of value on top of value for everyone involved. And money, again, is not the barrier. So oh, that sounds very expensive. Remember, I divided it amongst three or four different entities that it became very easy to do this. Now it's just a matter of timing, making sure the timing lines up. I always suggest you do this four to six weeks out. Give yourself some time, some runway. Give people enough time to put it on your schedule. Remember. A, 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 especially in, in, in the business I work in, the, these executives, their calendar fills up very quickly. So you want to be able to give them an opportunity that they're not so booked out. So four to six weeks is, is, is decent enough time. And then it's after work. So this is 6 p.m. to like 9 p.m. at night and not too far away from where they'd have to drive to get there, right? And that's very, very important, especially if you're, you don't have the relationship. There's, you know, if you're out there cold calling, cold emailing, cold in mailing, you're not you're not getting that warm response. Look to what I just talked about: getting partners that may already have the relationship, or maybe they're further along the process than you are, and you collaborate together on a signature branded program that you can put together. That it's not a community event; it's a private event. It's a private affair in which you can have intimate conversations to solve business problems that are important, not only for your client, but the client, all the other clients in the room. So I want to let people know these are the things that I do, giving out my secret sauce when it comes to business development that you might not hear about, you might not know about, right? It's very easy to say, well, we'll put together an email campaign. 
Not a problem. A lot of people do it. You're no different from anyone else. We'll put together a social media campaign. No problem. Good tactic. Not a problem at all. But you got to remember, everybody else is doing that, right? I'm going to put together a networking event. Well, that starts to help. But how open it? How, how, uh, 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 what's the clear purpose of it, right? And, and is it geared for a, a desired result? So that's where you start getting these signature branded programs that when you start doing other things in the community, people start opening your emails. They start following you on social media. They start coming to your networking events. They start going to your webinars, right? That's another thing that we're doing as well that I think brings a lot of value to the table is that not only have a webinar with your target audience that possibly when a lot of things I do is not just me talking, I will have someone who's already had the transformation. Someone's already gone through my program. They've already consumed my product or service. And I want them to come on and let's talk about their experience as part of the webinar, right? And that gets people like, all right, I might not totally get that good feeling of, of trust and credibility from Grant because obviously he's going to tell uh, nothing but good things about his company. Most people won't get up and tell all the bad things, right? But if you hear from someone else, it goes a longer, longer way. And someone else is telling you factual truth about what happened during their, their journey and their experience, it's going to go a longer way. But that's just part of the process. The webinar is just part of the process. Your next step after you've done your webinar is to then have a workshop. Bring them together. Let's roll up our sleeves. Let's talk about this. Let's actually get in there and tinker with stuff. Let's pull out the tools. Let's go ahead and try it out. Let me show you how this works. Now you're going from webinar to workshop to now you start getting into your next step. After that, automatically is going to be a sales engagement because you're going to find so much information out. How can we then implement this into your business? So those are two things I just talked about. And a lot of times you can even put them together, have a signature branded program. Now, what I use is a dinner event, you know, have a signature branded webinar workshop series that you can work through. Um, start thinking about things and combining things that engage your client, engage yourself, and look at it as a collaboration with all of you especially your partners. Partners are so, so important because it allows you to see and do things that you normally wouldn't see or do as you're engaging together to create what? Revenue opportunity, right? Pipeline development, right? Something that, that you know a lot of people you know don't like to do. You, you, you've got to look at funnel. You know, what is that funnel really look like for forecasting? How can you forecast if you really haven't got deeper into your activity that's leading to a desired result and a quantifiable outcome? And that's just for new business. Think about that for your existing business and you're doing that for your existing pipeline. And you can begin to really know what's really going on because that's what you want to do, especially in my business, is that what is the revenue that you know is going to happen for surety? And that's very important when you get into forecasting and you start looking at what happens in these Wall Street companies and, and whatnot. They have these forecasts and they have to hit those numbers or their stock value goes down. How do you get to that surety? You want the same kind of surety for your own funnels. So as you now we're going into the end of Q3, going into Q4. You, know, you don't want to always be starting from scratch. So you really want to build and build and know and have trust that you know that the business is coming your way and it's just a matter of timing. But you've got to build that funnel from the very beginning. So I gave you the, the process from the very beginning all the way toward the end as you listen to this particular discussion. So I hope I have been beneficial for you and your endeavors 
as an entrepreneur, when you're engaging with Five Star BDM, I am the CEO of the company. You are engaging with me in my 25 years of business development, right? So I'm a fractional BDM for a lot of different organizations to help them to grow, to understand the information that I have and experience I've gotten from Fortune 500 uh, companies that I've worked for and what it takes to compete in a highly competitive business when you're doing five, six, seven figure deals. And I've closed a numerous number of multi-million dollar deals. These are strategic and that transactional, and that is why this is so important. So with that said, the Black Business Expo's mission is to raise funds for high school seniors going to college or K through 12 entrepreneurs. This expo is a fundraiser for students. You may go to www.blackbusinessexpousa.com to donate to the scholarship fund or use the cash app that's on the screen below and say dollar sign BBX USA to your phone to give. Our goal is to give laptops and up to $5,000 to 10 students. Students can register online at www.blackbusinessexpousa.com. Every dollar counts. So we want to remind you to donate to the scholarship fund. We want to thank our Black Business Expo USA sponsors for August 2023. NC100, Moody Capital Partners, Suede Soul, Lotus Roche Coaching and Training, Carolina, Virginia Minority Supplier Development Council, Step Management, BHS and Associates, Margie McLean Foundation, Genius is Common, Earth Essentials, Milani Shani Global, Executive Women's Success Institute, The Quality Coaching Company, Superwoman Business Services, Creative Force Studios, Lee Entertainment, Artistic App Design, Black Business Expo USA, Genius is Common, and I'll see you on the other side. The Black Business Expo's mission is to raise funds for high school seniors going to college or K-12 entrepreneurs. This expo is a fundraiser for students. Please, you may go to www.blackbusinessexpousa.com to donate to the scholarship fund or use the cash app at money sign BBXUSA. Our goal is to give laptops and up to $5,000 to 10 students. Students can register online at www.blackbusinessexpousa.com. Every dollar comes. Please donate to the Black Business Expo USA Scholarship Fund. It is critical that when a, a, a machine gets compromised, uh, or is attempted to be compromised, that the protection software is able to run at the speed at which the attackers run. Attackers more and more are using AI and ML to automate their attacks. So we need to be able to have our own behavioral and static AI engine using 
ML and every other, not only first and second wave type of AI, but also figure out what's next in that industry. They were like that. Quick question, am I? Man, who's your favorite podcaster? Man, Grant, man. I love Grant's podcast. Well, who's Grant? I'm going to send you the link. I love Grant. Follow the Brand TV broadcast host, Grant McGaw, as he visits with top executives and entrepreneurs to find out their secrets of success with their personal brand. Follow the Brand TV broadcast host as he focuses on brand development to build better relationships, bring value to your business, relationships, and career. You will enjoy listening to each episode that is tailored to speak to you directly. If you're looking for this type of clarity in terms of building your brand, you have tuned into the right station. Each episode will help you to shape a conversation in the five-star BDM network of 20,000 professionals and become a springboard for your corporate engagement and business opportunities. Each guest will frame their story in the areas of personal branding, business development, career development, financial empowerment, and technology innovation. Grant McGaw explains why he is the CEO and owner of his own professional career. Grant is an accomplished business leader and entrepreneur who wants to give back to individuals to grow their personal brand strategy. Tune in as he weaves his story about new possibilities while to you exceed expectations. If you love storytelling, this show will make for fun. Star BDM LinkedIn social selling course can help you stand out and attract the right connections and opportunities. We will help you professionally create your profile, provide personalized recommendations for improvement, and help you create and share engaging content to help you showcase your skills and expertise. Our five step course makes connecting with industry experts finding job opportunities, and building meaningful relationships easy. Social selling can be an effective way for you to generate leads and close deals, but it does have its challenges. Our course will help you solve the problems associated with digital networking. If you need help personalizing your outreach and messaging, which can lead to low response rates and a lack of engagement. If you need help targeting the right prospects, this course is for you. With so much noise on social media, it can be challenging to cut through the clutter and get your message in front of the right people. Our course will personalize your messaging using our targeting tools and research you can identify and reach the right prospects. We will also show how to deliver high quality, valuable content that attracts and engages prospects and clients. The five-star BDM LinkedIn social selling course will address these challenges by implementing best practices. As a result, you can improve your social selling efforts and generate better results. 
Are you looking to improve your LinkedIn profile and reach a wider audience? Social selling is an effective way for you to generate leads and close deals, but it does have its challenges. Some common problems we saw with social selling include lack of visibility. If your profile is not optimized or you're not actively participating in groups or sharing content, it can be difficult to get noticed on LinkedIn. Number two, lack of personalization. Some businesses struggle with personalizing their outreach and messaging, which can lead to low response rates and a lack of engagement. Also, difficulty targeting the right prospects. It can be difficult to identify and target the right prospects on social media, especially if you don't have access to robust targeting tools. And number four, outdated content. If your LinkedIn profile or content is not up to date, it can give the impression that you're not actively engaged on the platform or that your skills and experience are not current. And lastly, poor quality content and not leveraging video and picture to convey ideas. To solve these problems, the five-star BDM LinkedIn Optimization Social Selling Video course will help you focus on personalizing your outreach and messaging to better connect with prospects. In module number one, the foundation, we will help you create high quality, valuable profile that will attract and engage. In module two, the story, optimizing your LinkedIn profile to make sure it is complete, accurate, and visually appealing. In module number three, the experience, using your targeting tools and research to identify and reach out to the right prospects. In module number four, engagement, establishing a consistent follow-up process to nurture leads and build relationships over time. And lastly, in number five, execution. Understand the metrics to help you measure your brand effectiveness. By addressing these challenges and implementing best practices, you will improve your social selling with the five-star BDM LinkedIn Optimization Social Selling Course. Listen to what others have said about five-star BDM. Grant, I'll tell you why I'm here, right? I'm here because I love your brand. I, when you when when we was we started chatting on LinkedIn, we, we connected. I checked you out and I go, man, this guy knows what he's talking about. You were definitely instrumental in helping to shape that knowledge of of who I am. Because at first I I thought, well, I am an actress. I am a writer. I am a producer. I am a speaker. And so I said, well, hmm, I must be a creative communicator. I know that there is a narrative thread here, but you nailed it when you said you are a storyteller. So uh -huh. you, you brought it all together in this cohesive title. Sign up today to improve your social selling opportunities. I was able to grow my network to over 20,000 professionals in the field of healthcare and technology with a consistent brand presence that excites and informs my community. Become the CEO of your personal brand. You must believe in yourself. First, first thing here is your image. People, people buy with their eyes before they spend with their wallet, right? And so the image of you online is either outdated, inaccurate, not existent. Uh, it needs to be reconciled to what it is you want to be known for and how you want to make people feel. That is the very essence of a brand. People buy the people before they buy in the brand. And corporations are starting to understand that we need to teach our people how to be more active and effective on LinkedIn. We need to help and invest in them in terms of getting their image together 
and teach them how to promote themselves because by promoting themselves, ultimately what they are promoting is they are promoting us, right? And so it's helping the people, helping the corporation so both can thrive. strong personal brand has the potential to accelerate careers and businesses, differentiate great candidates, and open doors to new connections and opportunities. So my approach to working with my clients is really exploring a convergence of their image, their personal brand, and also their presence. So these three things together is really what differentiates me and how I approach working with my clients. Everything that we do, everything that we say, and everything that people see communicates a micro message. can walk into a room and not say a word and people will immediately form an opinion about you. Whether we like it or not, it's just the reality. Here's my question for you. Are you in the audience of your life or are you on the center stage of your life? You can become the kind of person who does highly influential work. Your work can, be, can solve pressing problems, improve people's lives and get noticed by important people. You could have the world's most important message or greatest story but no one will ever see it if you don't promote and package it intelligently. The problem is that the task and the monumental nature of the challenge is so great that I, so many people are in a, a two-track world. They've got to deliver now and learn now. And there really isn't the, you know, a certification in this great place like Cornell and it, that will give you the academic knowledge, which is necessary, of course but it won't give you the knowledge to do something right the second and to make key decisions without fear of negative repercussions. When brand 
messages are shared by employees on social media, they get 561% more reach than the same messages shared by the brand's social media channels. passion has been around helping communities of color and historically underrepresented and underserved communities, uh, minority, rural, veterans, persons who are differently abled, in, or in the intersection of education, innovation, technology, industry, and let's throw some entrepreneurship in there just for fun. more around innovation, incubators, accelerators. I love the idea of going from innovation to commercialization.
I always tell people, I, I've never had a profession or a field. I've had a mission. And, and the reason I say that is, is that healthcare just is um, a vehicle to achieve my life mission. It is not um, who I have allegiance to. My allegiance is to uh, all those people who are like my family, who for no uh, reason but circumstance um, are good natured individuals, loving, compassionate individuals, who for the absence of a possible opportunity, one different chance, one additional person to believe in them could be in the seat that I'm sitting in right now. So I always tell people, I don't, you see me today, but I don't exist here. Um, I exist in the future. And as long as I plan to do anything on this planet, I will exist in the future because that's where excellence resides. And so uh, every day I, and, and it also allows me to walk through the world each day in amazement because this day, was planned five years ago, 10 years ago. So all I'm doing each day is looking at excellence that I sought to achieve five, 10 years ago. our next show or click on our website at www.firestarbdm slash follow the brand tv thank you hey everyone it's grant mcgall ceo of five star bdm and host of the award-winning follow the brand podcast and tv series where i help you to build a five-star brand that people will follow. My genius is personal brand development through intelligent communication and helping you achieve your business and career goals. I am a requested speaker on digital technology and brand development issues. I want to work with you to increase the value of your current opportunities while attracting new ones. Every one of you, is unique and we all share challenges that can be addressed through smart branding as a super connector i work with you as an executive coach to guide you along the complicated business and career development road providing the enhancement tools and information you need to succeed together i will help you succeed in today's challenging business climate i will evaluate and measure your progress. Best of all, I am right alongside you every step of the way. Build the brand called you. Genius is coming.